Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in. The new Synthetics runtime makes browser version updates easier and more frequent. Our runtime supports the latest version of Chrome, which is version 100, and comes with updated features such as async await support and a custom timing library, which allow you to explore new Synthetics use cases by reducing required monitor complexity. In this Nerd Byte, I'm going to show you how easy it is to both upgrade and create a new monitor in our next generation Synthetics runtime. You can upgrade your scripted browser, scripted API monitors, and simple browser monitors. For the purpose of this video, let's take a look at this specific scripted browser monitor that we found in the homepage. Now that I've clicked into the monitor, let's take a look at the left-hand side and click General under the Settings tab. This takes us to the Edit Monitor page, where we see that the runtime has been pre-selected to be Chrome 72, which is our legacy runtime. It's as easy as clicking on the dropdown and selecting our new runtime. Now, before we're able to save and completely upgrade this monitor, we need to go into the Write Script tab here. It's important for us to validate the script to make sure that the monitor passes before we save the monitor. Once our validation has succeeded, it'll look like this, and then we can go ahead and save our monitor. For simple browser monitors, we don't need to validate the script because there's no script validation there, so it really is as simple as clicking down uh, the dropdown, selecting the correct runtime, and saving uh, your new upgraded monitor. Now, if I wanna create a new monitor from scratch in the runtime, Let's navigate to the home page first. Let's click on the Synthetics button in the top bar. And in the top right, you'll see a button that says Create Monitor. Let's click on this. I want to create a scripted browser monitor right now. Let's name the monitor. And we see that the runtime has been pre-selected to be Chrome 100. Feel free to add some tags as well. And then we can go ahead and select our locations. Finally, again, because it is a scripted browser monitor, we need to validate our script. And the validation check should look like that. And then you're able to save it. And now you have a brand new monitor in our brand new next generation synthetics runtime. It's really as easy as that and you heard it here first. So thanks for tuning in.